Ebooks are a great way to start your digital product business and start making money online. And with the help of AI, it's even easier. Hey friends, it's Tisha. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm very excited because I'm going to share with you two AI tools that's going to help us create our ebook and create our website to sell our ebook so let's go ahead and get into this first tool now if you guys have been following my channel for a while this first tool should not be a surprise and that is chat gpt i need you guys to stop sleeping on chat gpt and stop letting the ai haters bully you into not using ai to write your ebook because i promise you your target audience is not going to care that you use ai to help you write your ebook they only care if the information benefits them and help them reach their goal and it doesn't matter your ebook topic your ebook could be about excel cheat codes how to land a six-figure job how to build a home garden it doesn't matter so let's go ahead and jump into my computer screen so i can show you how to use chat gpt here we are on the chat gpt home page we're going to get started using some simple prompts and as always the prompts will be down in the description so i'm going to ask chat gpt to create an ebook based on a topic idea and so i'm going to ask it let's create an ebook on how to start a youtube channel and i hit enter and then ChatGPT is going to give me some results based on what I entered. So starting with some ebook title ideas, and it's also giving me an ebook layout as far as an outline for my ebook. Once it's done, it's going to give you some bonus options. And this is something that you can add to your ebook to help add value or help you sell your ebook. For instance, with this ebook idea, it's giving me a content calendar or planner for the first 30 days, or I can add a YouTube checklist. And this is something that you can add to your ebook. Another thing that I like that ChatGPT does, it actually prompts you. So at the end, it's going to normally ask you a question. So it wants you to continue the conversation. It's asking, want me to go ahead and write an introduction next, or would you like a full draft of all the chapters in your brand voice step-by-step -step style? So is going to help you write your ebook. So let's go ahead and just ask it to write our introduction. Okay, now ChatGPT is already familiar with my brand voice, so it's writing the, the introduction in my brand voice. Now it's prompting me again. It says, do you want to tweak the tone or jump into chapter one? So now that we have a great introduction, we can ask ChatGPT to go ahead and write all of our chapters. So let's go ahead and use that prompt. As it writes our chapters, I want you to keep in mind that you can still add your own content to the information that ChatGPT provides you. You can add, delete, or tweak any of the information that it provides you. Let AI help you write your ebook and you can add your own information to it, okay? Now, once it's done writing your chapters, I recommend copying this content into a Google Doc or a Word Doc. To do that, you want to click on the copy icon and simply paste it in a Google Doc or Word Doc, which will allow you to easily edit that content. Now we're going to ask ChatGPT to design our ebook cover. Now keep in mind, this is an AI tool, so it may be a hit or miss, but it's good to just play around with it to get some ideas. So I'm just going to use this simple prompt, ask it to design my ebook cover, and I'm telling it what color to use. Now it's going to generate an ebook cover. This could take a while, but just let it play. So you see, it's giving me an idea. This is very, very simple. If you like what it gives you, you can use it. If not, again, this is just a way for you to just get some ideas on your ebook cover. I'm going to ask it to redesign it and I asked it to add an image of a woman sitting in front of a camera. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, so this second image I like a lot better than the first image. And again, it's just the option to give you some ideas. If it gives you an image that you like and you want to use for your ebook cover, you can simply click on the image and then you go to the top right and click on the down arrow to save it to your computer. Now, once you have your ebook cover and you have your ebook content, you can put it all together using Canva and to create a downloadable PDF. So once you have your PDF, now it is time to design our website. Now let's get into the second AI tool and that is 
Hostinger. Hostinger is a website builder that is powered by AI. No coding is necessary. You don't need to have any prior experience to create a website. Hostinger lets you build and launch your website like a pro. To get started, make sure that you click on my link down below in the description box. It's going to take you directly to Hostinger's website builder too. Now this is a paid plan and there are two plans that you can choose from. The business plan is the best plan for selling digital products because it has the AI features that will help you create your website and it also includes the e-commerce features that you need to host and sell your digital product also it has zero transaction fees this helps you maximize your profits make sure that you use my discount code boss tool studio to receive 10 percent off after you sign up with your hosting your account, it's gonna bring you to your home dashboard. It's gonna ask you to set up your hosting plan. I kinda of already started, so I'm gonna just go ahead and hit continue so I can show you guys the steps. So I'm gonna hit continue, and it's just gonna ask you some questions about who the website is for, and you just answer these questions based on your needs. Next, it's gonna ask you, how do you wanna build your website? You wanna select hosting your website builder, and then hit next. It's gonna ask you what domain name you want to use for your website because it does include a domain name you just want to make sure it's a name that is not already taken so it's going to give you a list um, based on the domain name that you enter in the text box just make sure that you also pay attention to the price because you do get it for a year and after that year you do have to pay for your domain so depending on how it ends it may be a little bit more so if you see like this says boss2studio.me versus boss2studio.io that io sounds really cool but do i really want to pay 58.99 after a year so make sure you guys pay attention to that so i'm just going to select this and hit next and you just want to go through the steps of just answering the questions that it's asking you. Once the registration is complete, it's going to bring you to the AI website builder. You're just going to give Hostinger some information about your brand and it's going to build your website based off the information that you provide. And then once you're finished adding your description, you want to just hit create a website. And it's going to take a few moments to generate a website for you. Here's the website that Hostinger created for us. It is a nice clean layout that you can use for your business. And just keep in mind, this is going to be based on the information that you provide Hostinger's AI builder. If you are not feeling it and you want to try again, you can go to the top and click on create again and just add some additional information and it probably switch it up for you a little bit. Now, if you feel like it's not really matching the vibe that you want, that no worries. You can just go to the top and hit continue. Here we are inside of the website editor and everything you see, you can customize and edit to fit your brand. All you have to do is just click on it and the pop-up toolbar will allow you to edit that particular element so as long as it's highlighted in blue you can edit it now we go over to the left you do have some menu options here to help you edit your website you can add additional elements you can edit your different pages and navigation you can customize the website styles by adding your own brand colors and fonts this icon here is how you access all of the AI tools that Hostinger offers, okay? Now, Hostinger may generate some additional pages for your website. If you don't need those pages, you just want to go over to the left toolbar, click on page navigation, and click on the three dots and delete whatever page that you don't need. Click on delete, and you can delete that page, okay? And the same thing goes for any elements. Are there, if there are any elements that you don't need, you can also delete that. Now let me show you how easy it is to customize your website. So first let's add a section. Hosting it does offer some templates that you can choose from. Again, making it super easy for you to design and customize your website. But let's click on blank section. And then we want to go to the left and click on add element. And we can use all of these different elements to customize our website. All you have to do is click on the element that you wanna use and you just drag it into your section and then you can simply just drag it around to where you want your element to fit. Now you may see here on my page that it has like, it's not letting me go to the edge. That's because I'm using a super wide screen, but most likely you should be able to get it to go to the edge. So this is where it most likely is going to cut off on most desktops, okay? I actually want this to be in the middle. Let's add some text and just drag that into 
the section here. Just highlight and type in the text that you want to enter and just drag it into place. See, I also want to add a button and click on edit button. And you can change this to be a call to action, whatever you want your call to action to be. And then you click on style to change the color. And you can drag your little color circle around or you can add your hex code or you can use the eyedropper. It's up to you. And then when you're done, you just hit exit. And then you just put your button where you want it to be. And then the last thing, if I wanted to uh, edit my video, I click on my video, make sure it's highlighted in blue and the toolbar will pop up, click on edit, and then I can add my video link here. And then I have this added to my website. Now this is a simple design. I just really want to show you guys how the drag and drop feature works. It is again, super easy and beginner friendly for anyone to customize and design their website. Now let me show you how you can add your digital product. You wanna click on add section. You wanna to go to the left and click on online store. And you have the option to select from product list. So if you have multiple digital products, you can click on that. But if you just have one digital product, you can click on single product. And this is what it looks like, okay? And so in order to add your actual information, you wanna click on manage product and it's gonna take you to your store manager. And Hostinger has some pre-made products already in the store. You can delete those later. So you wanna go over here to the left, click on products, click add product. And then we want to click on digital product. And here's where we're going to enter all of our information for our digital product. You want to upload your image. You can add your digital product title. And then you can go down and add a description. Hosting it does have an AI writer tool. So if you want to use that, you will simply click on that. And you could just give it some information about your digital product. Click on generate text. And you can play around with the AI tool to see if this is what you want to use for your description. And of course, it's up to you to decide if you want to use that. You can scroll down, you add your pricing. And here's where you're actually going to add your digital product file, okay? And once it's added, you will see it here. There is an option for you to have your download link available for a certain amount of time. You can choose anywhere between 24 to 30 days. It is up to you. Now, if you wanna add some additional sections or custom fields and categories, you do have the option to do that. Once you're ready, you go down to the bottom and hit save, okay? And now it's going to add it to your store and you would see it here now at the top. We're going to exit the store manager and go back to our website editor. And and now we want to click on edit this section, click on products, and then you want to select your digital product and it's going to add it to this section of your website. You also have the option to change the layout style. If that's something that you want to do, you can do that as well. And you can also change the style of this particular section if you want to change out any of the colors of this section, okay? Once you're done adding everything that you wanna add, you want to preview your website. So you wanna to go to the top and click on preview and you can see what it looks like. You can scroll down. If you wanna see how it looks on a mobile phone, click on the mobile phone icon and you can see how it looks. And I think that is great because you don't have to worry about coding to make your website mobile responsive, okay? And once you're ready, you can simply click go live. It's gonna take a few moments, okay? Now your website is live and you simply just share your domain name that you created with Hostinger. Okay, friends, so I just showed you how you can create and sell your ebook with AI. So you can stop sitting on your ebook ideas and get started. There's no more excuses. Use AI to help you get it done. Don't forget to use my discount code to get your 10% off Hostinger. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. And to learn how you can create ebook mockups to help you promote and sell your ebooks, check out the video that's on your screen. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.